If you think love means never disagreeing with another person, you obviously have never met Jesus of Nazareth. A lot of people think that when Jesus talks about love, he means that we should tolerate anything that people think or believe about themselves to be the truth. But Jesus doesn't actually go there at all. You see, Jesus really does believe in the truth. And so he goes to the law of God to teach us exactly what love is. And the first act of love is that we have to love God with everything we've got, which means not telling him that he did his creation wrong in some way. So what does Jesus say about love? <laughs> you might be surprised. It's quite a bit actually, but not what most people think. He tells us in Matthew 22, verse 37, that the greatest of all the commandments is to love God with everything you got. But then he adds a second right away and says, but there is a second and it's really like it. And it's love your neighbor as yourself. And then he adds that on these two commandments hang the entirety of the law and the prophets, which is like the Jewish way of saying the Old Testament. In John 14, 15, Jesus says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Whoa. So love is not this ooey-gooey feeling thing. Love is actually doing things Jesus' way, which is not the world's way. He also told his disciples on the night of his betrayal that he was going to give them a new commandment and that it would be different. And the new commandment was they were supposed to love each other with the love that he has for them. That is a love that lays down its life for friends. You know, Jesus says, when you have that love, everybody's going to know you're one of my peeps. You belong to me. He tells us also that if we love him, we're going to make his words our home. They're going to live inside of us, and we're going to live inside of them. And he also tells us that if we don't keep his words, we actually are just lying to ourselves about loving him at all. And... Jesus also adds that we must especially love the people who hate us, just like he himself did. Love your enemies, Luke 6, verse 27. The greatest thing about love is what actually St. John reveals in chapter 4. He says that God is love. That's not the same thing as saying that love is God. Ah, 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 ah. But the true God, the God who has revealed himself in Jesus Christ, the God who shows up in human flesh and blood, truly is love. Jesus tells us about the love his Father has for us. And he says that his Father shows the love that he has for us in this way, that he gave his only Son, gave him into our flesh, gave him onto the cross. So that in this way, whoever believes in him would not perish, but would have a life that never ends. That's love. So if you want to find out a bit more about what the Bible teaches about love, just check out the study we did on 1 John, particularly 1 John chapter 4. It's linked down below. And there you're going to learn a lot about love. Well, it's also in 1 John 3. Well, 1 John 3 and 4. The link's down below. You're not going to use that, though, right? No, come on, man. All right.